Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 19th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. Uh, I know that I have one more three month forecast to do, and it's, I'm trying, I really am, but I am overbooked and overwhelmed in the whole nine yards. But anyway, it's coming. Anyway, so what do we have for around the 19th? Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. The timing really, 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 really is fluid. So, and this reading is not sign specific. It may or may not be for you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. What do we have? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe. What do we have for today? Justice. Justice reversed. So this is, this is unfair. Something is unfair. This isn't, um... It's an unfair decision. Something isn't fair. Let's see what we get to go with that. Uh, somebody may not be telling the truth. Now this, well, I want to get some more cards before I go any further. Okay. Somebody's going to receive a message from somebody. Okay. Somebody is going to receive a message. This is a message you don't want to hear. And you may feel like this isn't the truth. This person may be lying. Or you may think it's a lie. You're lying to me. That kind of thing. That's a lie. I don't believe you. That could be the case. Um, this is a conflict. This is some sort of conflict. Somebody is going to receive a message that puts them in mental conflict of some sort. Um, this is unjust. Okay, this is not fair. It's unjust. Somebody could be dealing with a person that, um, you know, gives them a message that is quite, quite, quite matter of fact. Okay, it's harsh. It's, a, it's harsh. And, um... This could have something to do with karma, okay, because this is a card of karma. So, uh, let's just, this is a message you don't want to hear. There's going to be a conflict of some sort. Somebody's going to feel conflicted with whatever they hear, okay? Um, <laughs> difficult communication, okay? Difficult message here. The lovers. Now, somebody may have a new partner. Somebody may may receive a message that the person that they've been watching or the person that they've been stalking or the person that they want or the person that they think they have a contract with has somebody else. This is a contract and this is a contract. So somebody, there's this is a person that brings you the news and this is not good news, okay? This is something you really, really, really don't want to hear about a, a, a union of some sort, okay? Um, now, this is uh, somebody, somebody could be uh, getting together with somebody, starting a new contract unexpectedly. Um, this, you know, I mean, I'm looking at, the, I feel like this is some sort of reunion of some sort. Both of these people are older, okay? This is older, so it feels like this is a reunion of souls, of some sort. That's what I feel like it is. Somebody's going to think this isn't fair. They aren't going to be happy with the news that they receive. Yeah, there's a loss. The Ace of Pentacles reversed. Somebody has given up. Somebody has given up. They're, they're no longer hanging on. Um, Somebody is about to experience a loss. I'm just being, I got to be honest with you. I hate to be, I mean, I have to be. So this is a loss. And it's, it's, it's like, it's like, this is, this can't be true. This can't be true. So, um, somebody has like given up the fight. Somebody has given up the fight. It's like, I don't want to fight. They've, it's, this is too challenging. I, I, this is, it's like they're no longer waiting. Abandonment. Abandonment. Somebody is being abandoned, being left behind. There's, there's going to be some hard feelings today. 
Okay? There is. There's going to be some sort of hard feelings today over being left, being ghosted. Somebody has a new suitor, okay? A new partner that they are very compatible with. Somebody's going to receive a message about two people coming together. Um, it's like it's the truth, and that is the truth, and you can't you can't have, you can't deny it. You can't avoid it. The truth is revealed. Somebody is about to reveal the truth. The two of wands. Okay, this is a two of wands reverse. This is the some, and you may not think it's the truth. This is unbelievable. Um, it's like the decision has been made. The, it has. This is the choice of love. A decision has been made. Somebody has made a decision to leave somebody behind or a situation behind that was very challenging. Somebody has made the decision. It's like I'm giving it up. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. So somebody is giving up. They've made the decision to go their own way. They're see, they've seen the light. And it's like they've, they're going their own way. They become aware. Somebody has received some sort of enlightenment that, you know, it's time to leave this behind. It's time to let it go. Okay? It is. It's time to let it go. So, um, this is going by themselves. I'm going my own way. Letting go. Totally, totally, totally letting go. Four of Pentacles reversed. That's no longer holding on. Somebody is totally letting go of what they were holding on to. No doubt. There you can't, it's like there's no fight left. Somebody has re gone through a spiritual awakening. It's like now, all, it's like, like, like they have this new awareness. It's like they just uh, see the light. It's like a uh, light bulb moment. think it's a sudden decision very sudden yeah somebody may have been thinking about it they may have this we take what resonates leave the rest but this is the two of rods or the two of wands either one reversed is a, it can be very sudden it can be a sudden decision the emperor could be dealing with a oh god a husband a father um, some a dominant male. This is a very dominant male who may be upset, may be angry, may be uh, losing balance, losing control, losing concentration, losing focus. But this is an unexpected choice in love. That's what the lovers is. This person may be upset that they haven't been feeling love. Very sad. Very, very sad. We do have somebody here that is sad and upset that they are not, that they feel really alone. We have somebody here that feels very, very, very alone. Ooh, the devil reverse. Now, this is taking back control, freedom, freedom. Somebody is breaking free from a partnership and they have another opportunity. That's what the lover's card is. It's a choice between two people. Somebody is, is deciding to break free from an unhealthy situation where uh, it feels like they were only in it for, for codependent reasons or for materialistic reasons or... Oh, who knows what for all the wrong reasons with the devil reverse and it's like it's like they see it's like all of a sudden they see there's there's something better there's a bigger I have to let go of this opportunity there's something better and it's like the universe or God or an angel brings somebody or they have their eyes on somebody it's like they see another opportunity with the page of swords this is this is like see they see another opportunity for love and they decide to break free from the chains because that is the devil reverse. This is freedom. They break free from an unhealthy situation that has been controlling them. 
somebody makes a serious, this is a decision, this is a decision, this is a decision. A decision is being made on this day. To leave something behind and go down another path. This is a serious decision. And the universe is involved here. It feels like this is the end of a karmic contract. In the beginning, and it leads to the beginning of a new contract. Something that will be more healthy, more nurturing. Queen of Pentacles. This is a very devoted, uh, motherly individual. You notice she's holding her stomach. It could be a mother. It could be a mother and a father. Coming back, back together. I don't know where that message is coming from. I don't know. Um, but she just, just noticed. Looks like she's holding her. Looks like she's pregnant. Anyhow, um, this Queen of Pentacles is very. I mean, look at the harvest. It's harvest time. It is harvest time. It's time to reap some sort of reward for all the hard work. Interesting. It's like she's getting some reward. We have somebody here that is getting a reward for all the hard work that they have put into something. We have Virgo, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, we have Aries, we have Gemini, we have Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra up here. Pisces. Now this is somebody that is angry and upset. Take a look at this guy. This guy is angry. I don't know if you can see it. He's angry. You can see the look on his face. He's not happy at all. So we have somebody here. It doesn't have to be Pisces. But this is a person that is not happy. Very discontent uh, about how things have turned out. This person may have left somebody behind. Or this person may be the one that is being left behind. Because this person has wasted time. Stubborn as hell. So we do have a very stubborn individual. This person is, uh, I mean, look at this person is reaping some sort of reward. This person isn't happy. This is a dead end. Somebody couldn't find their moral backbone to step up to the plate. Now there's a loss. There's a loss. This is abundance. Look at all the abundance this person has. This is extreme abundance. Look at it. It's everywhere. So we have somebody here that has worked hard to bring in abundance. And somebody has... It's like somebody has chosen. Somebody has chosen them. And this other person isn't happy. Nine of Cups. Very dissatisfied. Nine of Cups reversed. We have somebody here that is very dissatisfied with uh, the fact. It feels like there's. it's a fact that there's no more desire. I mean, the page of pentacles reverse is somebody who doesn't care anymore. Doesn't care. I'd rather, I don't give a shit. Page of pentacles reverse. I got better things to do. I'm going to go fishing on plenty of fish <laughs> or whatever. You know, this is fishing. We got somebody here that's going fishing. Okay. I mean, hey, I mean, I don't know, whatever. Anyhow, um, this is going fishing. Somebody's like, I don't care. I don't, I'm not investing. I, I could care less. I could care less about your stupidity. 
Anyhow, um, I do feel as though we have somebody here that has made a decision to get into another partnership. Somebody has been watching them from afar. And the person that has been watching from afar is not happy. They didn't tell the truth. They didn't act with integrity. Uh, they didn't want to be held accountable for their actions. And now they're experiencing a loss. Somebody is experiencing a loss with that Ace of Pentacles. And they are experiencing a loss because they didn't put in effort. They didn't follow, follow through. They don't know how to apologize. They're stubborn as hell. They've wasted too much time. They're indecisive. They can't master their emotions. They are controlling, angry. It could be This person could be a tyrant, could be a narcissist. This person... Um, It's, all, it's like the cords have been severed and it's out of their hands. So cords are severed by the devil. The cords are severed. Somebody is, is, is in a new uh, partnership unexpectedly. It's an unexpected opportunity for love. An unexpected partner has entered the scene. The time is now. This, this is a card of purpose. It's a card of... Uh, reason it's a card of uh, exchanging something for something better so that's what we got here this is this is your exchange this is also a, a, a renewal uh, or a reunion and it's funny I saw that with this card at the beginning we have like a reunion here we could have this person that has been wasting the time that and this person has been in a state of lack. I mean, really couldn't focus, couldn't focus, couldn't focus, really was uh, trying to prove a point of some sort. This person, we could have somebody that is deciding to take back control of a situation because this is some sort of reunion. I saw it with this card. You usually don't see that with a lover's card. I don't. But that's what I saw in this card. And this is a reunion as well. So somebody could be reuniting with a soulmate. Whether you know them in this lifetime or not. This could be somebody from a past life just saying. This is a soulmate. This is a soulmate connection. It is. It's two people coming together. It is after somebody has broken free from an unhealthy situation. Severed ties with something. So it's like severing ties leads to a reunion of soulmates. Whether this is, you know, whether you, this is somebody from your past. I mean, it doesn't have to be because I don't. It's kind of funny because I don't feel like it is, but it could be. It could be. I feel like this is like a new, this is somebody that has, I don't know, I really feel like it's a reunion of some sort. Like you've known this person before. <laughs> Let's get one of these. The Emperor Reverse, that's somebody that is very angry and upset. Somebody is angry up and upset. R sad as well. A child's love. Interesting. This could have this could be a father. Something to do with a father. A child's love, the love between a parent and a child is one of the most precious and deep connections we make during our time on earth. Children start out as part of us and from their first cries, they establish themselves as the biggest part of our hearts. And it's funny, I saw this as a mother. Somebody could be getting pregnant. There could be a reu reunion with a child. This doesn't always have to be a partner. This could be a reunion with a child, a child coming back into your life or something like that. Um, 
<laughs> so we have we have uh, something to do with parents and children here. Um, it's time for a reunion of some sort. This is a reunion. I know that it is with a soulmate, and children can be a soulmate as well. Somebody's not going to be happy. This is the truth, okay? Somebody is not going to be happy that somebody has given up on a connection. It's like they're going to see. They're going to see it. It's like it's, it's too late. There's no going back. And I say that that because we have the Eight of Cups on the bottom here. If somebody is saying goodbye. There's no going back. And it's because they have somebody else. So there's an unexpected choice in love. And this can this is healing. This is a healing love. So, yeah, I think that we have, this is a lovers. We have two lovers coming together. I think that it is harvest time. It's time. This is time. It's time for this reunion. Whether you have known this person in this lifetime or not, we have a reunion of soulmates on the horizon. And that is what I got. Good luck. <laughs>